I was thinking it's Wednesday today and I want to make a walk cycle. So how about walk cycle Wednesdays? So here's the idea. I want to take a 3D model of some AirPods Pro because they look amazing. And then I want to take the 3D model of an Apple Watch and then combine those into a robot. And I want this robot to have like short stumpy legs where the AirPods is the leg. It's one of those ideas that I have to get it out of my system, you know? So I just thought, why don't I just bring you along this journey and we'll see where we end up. So let's find some 3D models. So first let's go to uh, Sketchfab. This is an amazing AirPods model by Polyman. This is really good. It's really high quality. I've already downloaded it and tested it out. And then we have the Apple Watch model Series 9 by Jackie and Design. A fantastic model. Really, really good stuff. So in Blender, here they are. I have uh, set them up with just this lighting and you can see how extraordinarily detailed these models are. I can zoom in on this Apple, this wheel here. Look at this. Yeah, so this is gonna be possible to make some really high quality renders. Look at that, that's just so beautiful. So the challenge is that I'm going to have to try and rig this. So this is gonna be the base and then these are gonna be the legs. I'm gonna make left and right legs and they're gonna be walking. Yeah, they're gonna be walking. Okay, so we got the body. There's some stuff in here we wanna get rid of. Yeah, this is not necessary. And also, I think I wanna change the color of the Apple Watch. Yeah, I want it to be just white. So let me just lower the saturation here. That just makes things a little bit easier when, um, when landing on a color scheme. If you really look at this design, this is like 90% white shiny plastic. And then like the 10% is just this technology that is very futuristic. I feel like you could have a design aesthetic that is called AirPods Core. And that is that is very much an aesthetic I'm into. So when I add joints and stuff like that, I'm gonna try and keep it in the AirPods vibe. So let's just uh, try and uh, outline this shape of what we want there. This vibe, look at this vibe. Can you feel, it feels like an ad already. I mean, I've done nothing. To be fair, I have not made these models. I've just added a light and a plane. I am simply standing on the shoulder of giants for this project. Just so just so everyone is clear about that. You know what? I need to decide whether or not this should be a creature that walks forward like this. Or if it should be a um, creature that walks sideways like a crab. I mean, it's the same, right? It will be walking this way. Maybe I don't have to decide yet. Let's add some armature. I think that's a good uh, that's a good thing to start with. So let's make a bone and let's just place the core bone here. I want to just quickly place some cylinders in here. So we want to attach the armature to this. Okay, so let's do this bone first. This could work because then this bone goes into the center here. This looks kind of weird right now, but I think this will be the shape. I want to duplicate this and then I want to mirror it. Okay, so now <laughs> this is... Uh, <laughs> I'm not that good at explaining what I'm doing because I'm thinking super hard right now. But here's what we ended up with. The bones are moving around a lot, like it looks a little bit crazy right now. But this should have a lot of degrees of freedom. So now let's add some inverse kinematics here. I mean, this could definitely work. Let's just uh, try and parent this to the bone. Oh, this will be so cool. It will have like these really stumpy legs. And then let's take this Apple Watch and parent it to the core bone. And let's have a look. Yeah, nice. Okay, yeah, this rig is coming together. Okay, so if we hide the armature now, you can see that these are just floating. And now this is where the fun part begins. I can start making these shapes that I want to put in between here. And I think this becomes a really fun modeling exercise because now I need to come up with shapes that has this AirPods core aesthetics that I was thinking about. I think I want to start out with taking this line. So here you can see you got this line that is the perfect shape. So I want to just extract this and I want to make this flat. Because I'm just going to add some more shapes here. Like we got this thing that will be like going out and I just want to add some connectors that will keep these AirPods in place. So now we got this uh, possibility for attaching stuff. You know, I'm not happy about this edge. I feel like this is too steep. Something like this, maybe. This shape is much more Apple, isn't it? I'm starting to realize that the people at Apple that are doing this for a living are just so good. <laughs> They're so talented. The bones are a lot easier to view when there are stick bones. I think that's good. I want this to be like an apple-esque joint so that means i'm gonna make a circle 
and then I'm gonna make it round. So I kind of want to recreate this AirPod vibe, but as a joint down here. I mean, this is a little bit oval, so that's not entirely correct, but this, a ring like this feels kind of Apple-ish. Okay, so that's a joint. Now this does not feel correct. Maybe a little bit more organic. Let's try something. Okay, nice. Yeah, that works. So now we can close this up just a little bit. Okay, yeah, so now this is the joint on the inside. Okay, so let's take this. Let's duplicate it up. Ah, amazing. So now we got a joint there. That looks really nice. Maybe we should just add some materials to it while we're here. Okay, that's cool. Just a little bit of um, glossiness to this. Yeah, and then this inside will also have this material. Yeah, so now there will be this dark material inside of here. Sweet. I kind of like that. It's just an arbitrary round shape, which probably doesn't really belong. But maybe it can be technologified if I just... Something like this. I think I like that detail. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense, but uh, I kind of like it. Not very Apple, but uh, kind of futuristic. Hang on, I need to do something down here though, because this just feels off. Maybe we can take this line here. It feels right to just have these bands like this. I don't know if it's a rubber band or what it is, but now it's kind of part of the style here. I'm gonna have to delete some of this. I can't use all the same parts over all the time. That's not gonna make an interesting design. That's nice. It feels like a joint, yeah. I like it. Could be higher poly though. Maybe I can just be uh, sneaky. Yeah, I'm just gonna be lazy and do something like this. I kind of like the direction this is going, where it, it looks like this is made out of parts that were designed to do something else. Like, you can see that the AirPods and the Apple Watch are like definitely something that exists. But then these parts are like from, an, from another set. Like it's from a configurable robotic set or something. I don't know. Like, what if you had this kit where you can make creatures that were mechanical? Like a mechanical creature... Never mind. Perhaps something interesting could happen like in the middle. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that feels nice. I think this one can have something like that as well. Let's make a really thin one. Like something like this. And that just goes in. It just adds something, you know. Yeah, that feels nice. One on each side. And it's just a really simple in like this. When you zoom out, it's, it's a nice detail. It's nice uh, to just have something like that. I want the light to catch something. And I want the legs to be just a little bit more technological than the AirPods. Okay, so now let's start parenting stuff. Okay, I figured out the correct bones to lock, I think. Yeah, <laughs> this can be quite fun. Boompy doobity boompy boompy boom. Look at that. That's so much fun. Yeah, let's duplicate the legs and let's start animating. Okay, so we got two legs. So now according to my brain, it should be possible to do this. Okay, so now all the bones should be parented. Let's see what the rig looks like. Oh, nice. Look at how cool it looks when it's leaning over like that. I like it. Oh, I like how it can go up like that. Oh, this looks really nice. Yeah, it's gonna start up and then go maybe go down like this. <laughs> There's just so little movement. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna look so weird. You know what? It's gonna have to walk like this, I think. It's gonna be a crab that's walking. Yeah, it's gonna have to be that. Because, I mean, look at how little movement you have this way. It's, <laughs> it's such a stupid rig. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty... Pretty messed up character, but uh, I think it could be cool to animate it. Okay, yeah, let's add some uh, animation to this. So maybe it starts it starts at the bottom, and then it just kind of moves up, and then it does a little bit of a rotation. It actually comes alive really fast. Yeah, look at that. And maybe there's something on the display as well. I'm gonna have to figure out what that's gonna be, but... Okay, that's nice. Okay, so we got this one leg. 
uh, note to self, I should probably just animate both legs at the same time because that's how it's gonna be working. Yeah, so it starts up, rises up, and then it starts walking. Nice. Okay, yeah, let's uh, do the other legs as well. <laughs> this is so stupid. It looks so stupid. That's no one ever asked for this. So it starts like this. <laughs> yeah, we may have to do something after we walked over here as well, because it's too short to just end there. It would be a little bit fun if all the legs are like starting in some sort of charging position. They can be like packed in, in a way, tucked in like this. Maybe up here. Yeah, that's, that is kind of fun. I like it. I'm being too hard on myself. It's a fun rig. It's just very unpredictable and very unstable and very difficult to set up. You know, I got an idea. How cool would it be if this was like, it's almost like a cat in the sun, you know? And then eventually the sun kind of, like the sun moves over there. And then this has to kind of wake up and then go into the sun again. Yeah, what if it's charging in the sun actually? I like that idea. Yeah, that's like this is like a robot that is it needs to charge up. Yeah, so it kind of it walks over and then it finds its place. Then all these legs they will go back into their crazy relaxed position. That's nice. And then it goes back to charging. Yeah, it's a kind of a crazy concept, but I think it will make sense if there's a dramatic change in lighting and there's like a realistic table texture here. Yeah, let's find some textures. I'm gonna do a wood texture. I feel like this might be a good wooden table. So let's just download this. Let's get an HDRI from Polyhaven. Let's find something indoor. Hayloft. Yeah, that's good. Maybe there are some models here that we could use also. You know, this is a really good table though. I've used this before. I really like this. Yeah, let's download it in case if we need it. I think we might need it. Let's just take this table and one chair and copy that and then let's paste it in here. Oh, that's very low rest though. Let's just change the texture of the table. Okay, let's get in the HDRI. Yeah, that's nice. I don't like that there's a hole in the table. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of the table for now. And then let's just use a uh, plane. Let's just get some volumetrics in here. Just a little bit. I think instead of having that light, I think we're going to have to make our own wall. And then use a sun lamp. I just need a little bit of an area light though. Like how can you survive without just a little bit of an area light? Yeah, I want to make the sun warmer. That's kind of nice actually. Oh, that's better when you get to see. This is really coming together, I think. Because, okay, so let me just uh, show you what I'm thinking here. When this is moving over into the sun, look at that. Now you get this beautiful texture. Yeah, that looks very nice. And by the way, this wooden texture, it's very simple. And we can even maybe add uh, some bump to it. Wait, it actually comes with a height map. Let's uh, use that instead. Yeah, that's definitely better. And then I'm gonna make the camera track to this empty object. I just wanna add like a little bit of camera shake. I always do that. Just, just a little bit of noise. It doesn't have to be much. I think this is gonna look really good when you, we get some glow in here as well from the compositor. Yeah, when it's, it's a little bit overdone right now, but maybe the table should be brighter. Yeah, that looks a lot better when the table is brighter. Yeah, and now we, I'm gonna move the camera over just a little bit after, like after it has started moving. So it, yeah, so like the camera is reacting to it. That helps like tell a little bit of a story that this wasn't rehearsed. Then we stop maybe around here, I think. Yeah, I like it. And then we need to add a focus point. Ah, oh, it's starting to look, it looks really small. I like it. I mean, the camera could start lower. We probably won't be able to do it. Oh, yeah, this can, this can work. Yeah, that's <laughs> surprisingly efficient, actually, to just duplicate it like that. I want the camera to start here. And I want it to kind of move around. So we're kind of here and then a little bit up. You know, I'm just looking at this image. This just feels really good. Ooh, you know what would be really cool? Like, what if you could have like this movement? That's just such a nice... I want to see if I can download this. I'm not going to use it in any illegal way. Yeah, let's import this. Yeah, let's use this video. Let's use the emission shader. Separate the colors. I want to look at the blue channel. 
Yes. Shader transparent. And then into a mix shader. So here's the trick. You want to take the blue channel here. And now you just want to tweak this. I want it to be just barely visible. So now this is going to be a completely alive in the background there. Yes. This is looking very nice. I need to make the sun stronger now, I think. This feels really good. Okay, so here we got the charge icon for the Apple Watch. So I'm going to screenshot this. Then let's just... Uh, Get it from here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and then we also need this. So let me just take a screenshot. Yeah, let's just do something basic like that. And I'm just gonna export this as a video. Okay, so I just made a simple animation for the watch face. Yeah, then it kind of, it's weird, <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> so now let's change the screen here. Open image. Ah, nice, it's perfect. Nice, that works really well. Yeah, and then it starts charging. <laughs> nice. I feel like this could be, uh, this could have some fun sound design as well. I'm so glad that I've documented this entire process. It's been, I think, maybe two hours, two and a half. I'm very curious to see the final render for this. I think we're going to get a lot of realism from that, um, these animated leaves. Because that's like, that's real life, right? Yeah, okay, so the backstory here is that this little guy needs sun to charge. And he fell asleep in the sun because that feels really good. But now the sun has moved. So now he's standing here, but now he has to walk over there. And he can charge there. <laughs> you know what? I think that's it. Now I'm going to render this out as a final animation with pretty much the settings that you're seeing here. I might do some color grading in Adventure Resolve and then I might do some sound design. So I'm not sure if this ended up being like a complete walk cycle. It's just more like a, a little scene with some animation. But uh, maybe walk cycle Wednesdays could become a thing. Thank you for watching this video and now here is the final result.